Hi, I'm Anne Marie Kaysen, Risk Communication Specialist for the Kentucky Division of Water. I will be your instructor for this educational module titled Understanding Risk for Karst Topography, Mine Subsidence, and Landslide. The purpose of this module is to explain what risk is and how risks specific to the state of Kentucky can potentially affect its residents. Risk is the potential that a chosen action or activity, including the choice of inaction, will lead to a loss. The notion implies that a choice having an influence on the outcome exists. Risk can also be defined as future issues that can be avoided or mitigated rather than present problems that must be immediately addressed. Vulnerability refers to the susceptibility of a person, group, society, or system to a risk, such as physical or emotional injury or attack. It's also the extent to which changes could harm a system or to which a community can be affected by the impact of a hazard. The risk assessment in the Kentucky State Enhanced Hazard Mitigation Plan includes an overview of the types of all natural hazards that can affect the state. The state of Kentucky is vulnerable to a wide array of natural hazards which threaten life and property. Through research of the historic impacts, 13 hazards are identified in the Kentucky State Hazard Mitigation Plan. The focus of today's lesson will be karst topography, mine subsidence, and landslide. Additional modules are available to discuss the other hazards listed. Karst is a special type of landscape that is formed by the dissolution of soluble rocks, including limestone and dolomite. Karst topography is an amalgamation of caves, underground channels, and a rough and bumpy ground surface. The underground water of karst topography carves out impressive channels and caves that are susceptible to collapse from the surface. When enough limestone is eroded from underground, a sinkhole may develop. Sinkholes are depressions that form when a portion of the lithosphere below is eroded away. Sinkholes can range in size from a few feet to over 300 feet deep. They've been known to swallow cars, homes, businesses, and other structures. Sinkholes are often caused by the loss of groundwater from pumping. A sinkhole can even collapse through the roof of an underground cavern and form what's known as a collapsed sinkhole, which can become a portal into a deep underground cavern. Kentucky contains one of the world's largest karst-ridden topographies. About 38% of the state has sinkholes, which are recognizable on topographic maps, and 25% has obvious and well-developed karst features. Karst topography forms the world's longest cave system, the Mammoth Cave System, which is over 350 miles long. Much of the state's beautiful scenery, particularly the horse farms of the bluegrass, is a direct result of the development of karst landscapes. Many of Kentucky's cities are built on karst, including Frankfurt, Louisville, Lexington, Lawrenceburg, Georgetown, Winchester, Paris, Versailles, and Nicholasville in the bluegrass and surrounding areas. In the western Penny Royal region, the communities of Fort Knox, Bowling Green, Elizabethtown, Munfordville, Russellville, Hopkinsville, and Princeton are affected. And in the eastern Penny Royal region, affected communities include Somerset, Monticello, and Mount Vernon. Karst topography results in channels and caves that are a danger due to susceptibility to collapse from the surface forming sinkholes. Mine subsidence can be defined as movement of the ground surface as a result of readjustments of the overburden due to collapse or failure of underground mine workings. Surface subsidence features usually take the form of either sinkholes or troughs. Several types of subsurface mining and specifically methods which intentionally cause the extracted void to collapse will result in surface subsidence. Mining-induced subsidence is relatively predictable in its magnitude, manifestation, and extent, except where a sudden pillar or near-surface ground tunnel collapse occurs, usually in very old workings. Mine-induced subsidence is nearly always very localized to the surface above the mine area, plus a margin around the outside. Damages to structures are generally classified as cosmetic, functional, or structural. Cosmetic damage refers to slight problems where only the physical appearance of the structure is affected, such as cracking in plaster or drywall. Functional damage refers to situations where the structure's use has been impacted, such as jammed doors or windows. More significant damages that impact structural integrity are classified as structural damage. This would include situations where entire foundations require replacement due to severe cracking of supporting walls and footings. In Kentucky, land subsidence is often used interchangeably with mine subsidence, as abandoned subterranean mining operations are the most common cause of subsidence events. For this reason, subsidence is most likely to occur in the eastern and western coalfield regions of the state. 
Mine subsidence is the movement of the surface due to collapse of mine workings underground. It can result in damage to structures ranging from cosmetic to structural. A landslide or landslip is a geological phenomenon which includes a wide range of ground movement such as rock falls, deep failure of slopes, and shallow debris flows, which can occur in offshore, coastal, and onshore environments. Although the action of gravity is the primary driving force for a landslide to occur, there are other contributing factors affecting the original slope stability. Typically, preconditional factors build up specific subsurface conditions that make the area or slope prone to failure, whereas the actual landslide often requires a trigger before being released. Many landslides which were triggered by the 1811 to 1812 New Madrid series of earthquakes have been documented in western Kentucky. The resulting instability still causes problems today. Landslide problems are usually related to certain rock formations on yield soils which are unstable on moderate to steep slopes. Often slopes are cut into or over steeped to create additional level land for development. Since the early 1970s, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet and the Kentucky Transportation Center has received reports of approximately 3,000 landslides. Costs for repair of landslides exceed $2 million annually. Thousands of slides are unrelated to transportation, however, and many are unreported. These also pose significant hazards to people and infrastructure. The Kentucky State Emergency Management Office has spent $617,000 on acquisitions of landslide-prone homes from 2005 to 2007. Kentucky's landslides occur in all regions of the state, mostly in the Ohio River Valley, the Knobs, the Outer Bluegrass, and the Eastern Kentucky Coal Field. Potential for landslide is statewide. Unstable soils on moderate to steep slopes and over steep slopes created for additional land development cause additional vulnerability to landslide. Karst topography results in channels and caves that are a danger due to susceptibility to collapse from the surface, forming sinkholes. Karst topography can also cause groundwater problems as the rock formations are dissolved away. Mine subsidence is the movement of the surface due to collapse of mine workings underground. It can result in damage to structures ranging from cosmetic to structural. Potential for landslide is statewide. Unstable soils on moderate to steep slopes and over steep slopes created for additional land development can cause additional vulnerability to landslide.